Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to our Chromatic Craft tutorial series. First off, I just want to let everyone know that I now have an upgraded PC and uh, this is our first CC tutorial being recorded with it and we're getting solid 30 FPS recording. That's wonderful. Uh, I'm very happy about that and I, I'm sure you guys will be happy about it ah, too uh, because it means better videos. Okay, so in this episode um, we're going to talk about power crystals. Now, when I was talking about the uh, energy storage crystals, I was um, using the term energy storage and power crystals interchangeably, but that was a mistake because these are the power crystals. Those were the energy storage crystals. Now, I get, at first, I've just been reminded I need to go over a couple of things. First of all, from our previous episode about warp glass, it is possible to teleport in both directions, okay? Um, so if I just look through this one, we'll teleport over here. And then what you want to do is you want to take your linker and you want to link it actually in both directions. This was the issue that I had and the reason that I was only able to teleport in one direction. Um, you, need to, you need to link it in both directions. So I've already, I had already linked it in this other direction so I can teleport over here. But now that I've linked it in this direction, if I look through here, I can teleport back. There we go. And that was the thing that was getting me. But yeah, you need to link it in both directions. Also, Reiki said that he's going to change it so that both of the windows, uh, both of the warp glasses need to look the same in order to teleport. Because if you remember, if you uh, hold shift and right click on it, you'll, you'll make it either look like that or it'll be transparent. So he said that eventually you're going to have to have them both the same. But right now that's not the case. Another thing. Uh, Energy storage crystals have an interaction with the relay source. If you look at this, you'll see that there's a bunch of little crystals floating around over it. If I right click, out comes an energy storage crystal. So if you can charge up an energy storage crystal, right click it on a relay, and then the relay will draw power from that uh, storage crystal so that you can quickly set up a relay uh, in a place uh, and use machines that use the relay, uh, you know, long before you have a connection to your Lumen network. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so let's get to these power crystals. So the power crystals, if we open the book, I've already got it here, but we'll, uh, we'll scroll over. They're over here in the end game. So you basically just need to go down here to this main row, scroll all the way over until you get to end game. Not all the way over, but till you get to the end game here, you get the power crystal. Now the power crystal talks about how pylons are not infinite. They lose their color as they're drained and then they recharge slowly. And we see this uh, like right over here. So this um, Kijani pylon has been drained of its power to a certain extent. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much drained. And so it, the orb shows up as gray and it's not got a lot of power in it. Um, and that's a thing that happens to these pylons when you're overusing them or, you know, it's when you're using them. So you'd either have to connect more of these to your network or we can uh, do a couple of things to uh, boost their recharge rate. The simplest way to boost their uh, recharge rate is, here it is, by planting uh, trees. I don't have a, don't I have a seed for, uh, here we go. So if I grab a, uh, some, if I grab some Kajani sapling and then we uh, go ahead and grab a bone meal and bone meal this, where are you? There you are. So if you plant um, you know, chromatocraft uh, trees like this around a matching color, of course, around a pylon, uh, you can actually boost its recharge rate. I'm not sure how many trees you need in order to do this, and I'm also not sure how much of a boost it actually gets. Um, but it does say in the book that that does work. That's pretty darn cheap, but it's not all that effective, really. Uh, or probably not going to be all that effective. So what we can do instead is is uh, use these power crystals. So um, you're going to need a couple of these. Eight is preferable. If you read the book, it'll tell you that. So we'll go back to the power crystal page, and you'll see a balanced ring of eight is uh, speeds it up enormously. Mm -hmm. So each one of these that you add to a pylon is going to speed up its recharge rate. So the way that you craft these. Place a diamond in the center of your casting table. Take obsidian and run five of it along the bottom. That was weird. 
little error there. Uh, then you need some of these iridescent uh, crystal chunks. If you remember, iridescent crystals come from the uh, infusion stand, and you can cast them into uh, chunks. We need to place uh, six of them like this. You see that? Right that? Then take some glowstone and place it in the corners. Okay. I've done something incorrectly. You don't need runes for this one. Power crystal. Crystal chunks. Oh, I placed the um, obsidian down too low. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, get out of there. Let me back my obsidian. I placed it uh, too far down in the recipe. It needs to be here. Just below the casting table. Boom. Power crystals. Now you're going to need lumen power to make these. And the amount that you need is a total of 50,000 lumens. Half of that, so a full 25,000, is Kuro. Then you need mostly Katrino and some Zambaru. All right? And then we can go ahead and we can cast it. Of course... Ooh. Pretty music. Well, that's cool. I like it. Is it playing an actual song? I'm sure someone can tell me. That gives just one of them. Now, if I go over here to this uh, Kajani pylon, I want to place it on top of one of the rune blocks. Boop. And you'll now see that there is cool green power flowing from the power crystal to the pylon. And you can see that little green dot right in the center. Yeah, so the, you know, it is charging. However, we can place more of these. And you can see that each one has this stream of green. And when you get all eight of them, it's going to recharge. Where? Look at that. Look at that recharge. Look how quickly that's charging. Look at that. That's so good. Boom! That's how you recharge pylon. Power crystals. They're good. Now, I previously put power crystals over here on this Zambaro pylon. You can see it in the distance. If I grab my pylon compass, you'll notice that you can actually see uh, around the symbol for the pylon these eight little diamonds. Those are the power crystals. So they actually show up uh, on the pylon compass. So if I go over here to this uh, Kajani pylon and I break one of the... Ow! Okay, don't do that. Alright, apparently the... <laughs> I had no idea it was a thing. Power crystals don't like being broken. <laughs> Ouch. But if I look at it... Oh, it's still there. Huh. I, I expected it would be one less little diamond on that. Let's break another one. Ah. No, I guess not. Oh well. Let's go over to another pylon and try the same thing. Here we go. We'll go over here to this uh, brown one. We'll just put one of them down and we'll see what happens. Maybe since I had them all, uh, it's, it's just not updating. So we'll go ahead and drop one over here and see. But you can tell which pylons you've got power crystals on. Uh, because you can see them in the compass. So I'll just place one over here. Yeah, they see there we go. You can see one one power crystal right there. One little one little diamond. So that's really neat. Uh, so that you can tell which uh, pylons you've placed power crystals on. Very nice. Now I don't actually I don't know any of the math for this, so I don't know like how much better a full ring of eight is compared to each individual one. Um, I don't know if each one adds like a linear increase, like if each crystal just adds a flat amount to the speed or if it goes up as you add more. I don't know any of that stuff. All I know is uh, is that when you place power crystals on a pylon, it causes it to recharge a lot more quickly. So this is a late game item just because, well, you're not going to need these until you're draining so much power from pylons that they're you know, going down like that. I mean, this lumen tree is sort of doing that. 
Uh, you can see it's growing quite nicely. All right, well, now that my game has recovered from crashing, I don't know, for some reason, if I go too close to the lumen tree and look at straight at it, sometimes the game crashes due while block rendering. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, uh, that's that's power crystals. Now, the power crystals, they, they become very useful um, when you're drawing so much power of course, that uh, these things can't keep up. So I imagine if you're doing a ton of item fabrication, you're probably going to need uh, power crystals eventually because you're going to be draining the heck out of your pylons. Um, of course, eventually, even power crystal pylons won't be enough. And so in the next episode, we're going to take a look at uh, the final bit of that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, like and comment the video if you did. Join our Discord if you're interested in chatting with us. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.